Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Colorado Sports TV's coverage, the CSU Rams versus Central Oklahoma Broncos. Josh's not with us tonight, and I don't have a lineup. So we're going to have it just be another one of those sounds of the game type of nights. Sorry about that. I figure you'd probably enjoy that a little more than my babbling along. Here's our blink moment. Just a few moments away from getting this game started. The zebra is in the center circle here. And he's getting, he's starting to indicate that he wants the players to start coming up to him. If they got the final lighting set up, I can go ahead and get final start is going. So now we've dropped the puck and we are underway. Broncos are trying to find something happening here.
Uh, trying to work through some audio issues here. Tonight I'm alone, so it's... If I have some glitches, I apologize, folks. Sometimes it's just the... When you're announcing, camera, producing, audio, and making sure all the other things are all going at once, it can be a one or two balls to juggle a little too many. Fifteen twenty-three left in the first, and the Broncos jump out to a one-nothing lead here. Rams are not going to lay down, though. Broncos may have jumped out to an early lead here, but this is by no means the end.
And back-to-back -back goals here, it looks like. Fourteen forty-nine left in the first, and the Broncos are now up by two. I'm wondering if the Rams got a little rattled by that that first goal. If so, they need to buckle down now because panic only gets you into a deeper hole.
Well, now the Rams are down by three. 9.40 left in the first period. Make that four to nothing.
this economy has sponsorship opportunities for you or your business. In-game announcements, real fans, presenting game sponsor and website presence are available. To be contacted, please leave your name and phone number in the volunteer at the merchandise table in the lobby.
Can the Rams put something on the board? They're able to take advantage of this power play. They're still down by four, but at least they're not goose egged anymore. Well, that brings us to an end here in the first period. CSU Rams won, Central Oklahoma Broncos five. Yeah, five. So folks, we're gonna take a break. We will be back for the start of the second period here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry, trying to get everything ready for you. Okay, thanks again for tuning in here, folks. We're gonna step aside. We'll be back in about 15 minutes for, as the second period gets started. So go get something to eat, go get something to drink, but come back in 15 minutes. See you soon.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Colorado Sports TV's coverage of the CSU Rams versus the Central Oklahoma Broncos. Right now, the Rams are down by four with a score of one to five. Broncos have struck early and struck often here in the first period, or there in the first period, because now we're in the second. And this is usually when the Rams like to wake up and take charge. So I'm hoping that we can get some some pucks in the net and tie up this game. As we are now underway. Some students actually showed up here during the first intermission. There's a bigger crowd now than there was er earlier on in the game. So it's kind of nice to see some support showing up here at Epic for the Rams. Uh-oh, early breakaway. Oh, and just like that, the Rams come out and score. Taylor. No, excuse me, Anse, number 29, puts the puck in the net here, it's under a minute it elapsed in the first second period. Cutting down the deficit here. Still down by three, but that's better than it was a minute ago. Got a little bit of pushing and shoving going on here. I'm not exactly sure what that is about. Well, one of the Broncos is having a seat as a result here. We'll have to get from the house announcer who it is and what his offense was. But they're going to bring the puck down to the Cowboys' defensive zone, giving the Rams an opportunity to put another one on the board. As the Zebras figure out who can and can't get off the ice, we'll get back underway here again. Two minutes for roughing, I'm hearing. Okay. Tonight's penalty box is sponsored by Autobots. 
Well, the Rams were able to sneak one through, cutting the deficit down even a little more. It's now three to five, folks. So far this period, the Rams have been able to score three unanswered goals. Or un and we still have the majority of the period to go here, so have faith, folks. Unless, of course, you're watching from Oklahoma, in which case you're like, shut it down, shut it down. And that'd be completely understandable. Gonna get started back here down in Broncos defensive zone, far side. But the Broncos have number 14 in the sin bin for two minutes. We'll find out here in a second what his offense is. But it puts the Rams back on a power play. Two minutes for slashing.
And there's number four, folks. All right, folks, sorry about that. They had turned on some lights that made it hard to see the ice or harder to see the ice, so I had to go deal with that real quick. My hand signals weren't working. This net is in front of us is bad enough to see through, but when they turn lights on there directly above it, it causes the whole net to glow. And it's kind of interfering with our shot, so. Sorry that we missed a brief second of action there. The downside to being alone.
to create an environment that is welcoming, challenging, and accessible to all. Their 24 hour fitness facility offers over 50 yoga classes a week. Located at 353 West Trade Road in Fort Collins, check them out at longyoga.com. There goes our audio, folks. Hopefully Sony won't block it out entirely. The last time a Michael Jackson song was played on a, one of our broadcasts, Sony Music killed the audio for the entire four-hour show. It won't affect live, but if you're watching, try to watch this on demand now. HBO or HBO. YouTube is going to strip out all the audio out of the entire game because of that 40 seconds of Michael Jackson. Oh. Gotta like copyright laws.
Well, there is the buzzer here. After two periods, the Rams four, Central Oklahoma Broncos five. Hey, but we started this period down by five. We ended it down by one. That's progress. We've got 20 minutes of play still to go here. It's the third period. We'll get underway in about 15 minutes or so. We are going to step aside as the intermission is going on. And... But tune back in in a, just a few as we get this game back underway. Thank you so much for watching Colorado Sports TV's coverage of the CSU Rams versus Central Oklahoma Broncos. We'll be back soon. Well, folks, welcome back to Colorado Sports TV's coverage of the CSU Rams versus the Central Oklahoma Broncos. In the first period, the Broncos dominated, put five on the board. In the second period, the Rams kind of dominated. They put four on the board. Not quite tied, but they got it back to a competitive game. Rams are going to start off the third period in a power play for the next minute and 55 seconds. Now, if we go by the second period, the Rams were able to put something on the board in under a minute. So it's possible that we'll have this game tied up, but we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for tuning in. As we get this game back underway, the Rams are, take control of it. Don't worry, I'm not much of an announcer. I know this. I'll get back to just doing the camera here in a second. I don't mind the public speaking, but I don't have anything intelligent to say about hockey. I never played the game. And the folks will sit down here in a sec, too. Now, the good news for us Ram fans is that CSU is a bit of a second half of the game type of team. And we saw that in the second period as they 
put four on the board to bring the game within one. I don't expect the Broncos to just lay down in this third period, though. So the Rams will have a fight on their hands. They need two to take the lead. He's just going to reach out, grab that, stopping the clock at 18.25. 21 seconds to go here in this penalty or power play. <laughs> 20 minutes of hockey, pack up, go home, and then go to the Midnight Justice League. It's going to be a great night, folks. A lot of head bopping going on down there in the officials section mid ice. No Sleep Till Brooklyn's a good song for that.
Oh, and the Broncos are able to answer finally. 16-11 left in the game, at, well, in regulation. I'm going to be optimistic here. And Central Oklahoma is able to put another one in the net. It's going to extend their lead back up to two. It's now Rams four, Broncos six.
All right, I lost the puck in that wall zone there. Sorry about that. Oh, the Broncos go upstairs on that one. 7.19 to go in regulation, and it's now 4 to 7.
Oh, I didn't get around fast enough for that. I'm sorry. But the Rams are able to put a fifth one on the board. Once again, cutting the lead down to two. Here I was trying to juggle a couple of duties at once and didn't get the camera around fast enough to see that goal. And I'm sorry about that, folks. Straight into the mid, stopping the clock at 3.16 to go in regulation. The Rams are going to need two to, to tie this up to force an overtime. Three if they just want to win it outright.
huge hit against the boards there. I could feel the concussion wave from here. Woo! He's working his way off the ice to get checked, but he's... That was a huge hit there. Well, I got 53.1 seconds to go in this game. I'm just going to say game because it is theoretically possible for the Rams to score two in the next 53 seconds, but if they do, it's going to be sports center worthy game. <laughs> That's all. And if they do, I will package that up and try to send it to the sports center. Millar is in. Rams take the face off, trying to put pressure down. The Broncos were able to kick that out. Oh, and a quick pass over results in yet another. The goal counted, but the tempers are flared. 40.1 seconds to go, and the Broncos put their eighth goal in the net. It's like there's no point fighting with under a minute, folks. Down by three with 40 seconds. I thought the Broncos would just go ahead and try to play the clock for the last couple of minutes, but instead they had a nice assist resulting in a goal. Got a stoppage of the clock with 27 seconds to go. We get this face off going in the Broncos defensive zone. 27 seconds. It's a slashing penalty that's gonna end the game on a power play for the Rams. And there we are, folks. Well, with that buzzer, that brings us to the end of this game. Central Oklahoma is victorious, 8-5 to five over our CSU Rams. We'll come back tomorrow night as the Rams host the Oklahoma Sooners for the first of two games. They play here tomorrow night as well as Saturday night. And I'll be here both nights. So I hope you come back and tune in then. Until then, as we see the players shake hands, we're going to go ahead and sign off air and wish you all a great evening. Final score, Rams 5, Cowboys 8.